black people here is hard to manage. Black people here is a lot harder to maintain from, yeah. Black people here is more like more work and every morning waking up, doing this and doing that to me. Sometimes it gets a bit hard work. Right, right. <laughs> Yes, society makes it seem like um, a black hair, white hair is um, much better than the yeah. black hair. <laughs> Then she, she was lying that um, she wished the hair was so silky and very soft and you know, that long, though she has a beautiful hair. It's nice my hair, but it's too short, I don't have short hair. I, I think so long, it's much, it's much fashion. How easy is it to take care of you? At first it wasn't that easy, because I kind of felt like a lot of hair just and I didn't really know what to do with my hair. I couldn't really find the right product. I used to use a lot of gel and mousse, but apparently that's really bad for your hair. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I had to stop using that and find an alternative like shea moisture for that product to manage it. Once you know how to manage it, Once in a month or two weeks? Once in a month or two weeks? Or two weeks. Wow. Yeah. My hair's extensions. I have six packs in here. Six packs of like, extensions. Wow. Wow. Six packs? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of packs. Yeah. <laughs> when I thought you'd done it was heavy. Yeah, I was going to say, it's literally feel like yeah. weight in your head. I'm feeling like that. But now it's feeling like that. In recent years, the rapid growth of new media has, pr has provided a platform to, my, to many women, myself included, who use it to address this absence and misrepresentation of black women and natural hair. Never before have black women in Britain had such an opportunity to take agency of how we are presented with our hair and to publicly inform and even lead discussions about ourselves. As the number of natural hair bloggers continues to grow, it seems that one woman's confidence to go natural can inspire and encourage another and collectively we appear to be making an impact as the notion of black beauty no longer requires us to conform to a fictional black Barbie-esque appearance. But instead, we're able to continue to forcibly extend the notions of beauty norms to include our natural inherited African aesthetic. Try weave, it's oh, yeah. so weird. Like just a straight weave to see what straight hair's like. Yeah. But um no. What makes you wanna have that style? Is it just a different style? Or I think it? because like I feel like people are trying to just wake up in their head just amazing, they don't have to like wet it and brush it every morning. Right. They can kind of just leave it and then run their fingers through their hair. My mum sews my real I mean that con cane rolls my real hair and she sews it on and it helps my my natural hair to grow up like yeah, the cold breaks it. 
Right. Does it hurt to get it put in? Put in? Yeah, because the cables are quite tight. No, I just can't. You fell with Miss A. Text me here, they're gonna grow to man. Uh, I don't really need that because you're gonna need their light, but you have a lot of old people come for years ago. Really long. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,